we are in 2023 this people's participation uh, which has become uh, really the hallmark of this G20 it was very unlike i've been to the bali uh, meet you know which was restricted in I've one i've been to the year. last 10 g20 and and i can vouch for it yeah sure that yeah i've been to the g20 in london too it was not it okay. wasn't I, I, everywhere. I, I, I didn't do that. That was the one President Obama was there, right. you know, like, uh, so anyway, to get back to this, uh, it's become a people's movement and that's also uh, the hallmark of the foreign policy uh, initiatives that your government has taken is taking it out of the corridors of um, Ministry of External Affairs to the people, uh, demystifying foreign policy uh, to a large extent. Uh, is that a political need? Is that, a, is that something that uh, your government decided to do that? What is why uh, did you take G20 out? You know, uh, two reasons. Uh, one, I think it's fundamentally a mindset. Uh, it's a mindset of the Prime Minister, it's a mindset of the BJP, it's a mindset of the government. And the mindset is a more democratic mindset. Uh, a mindset where you feel it should not be a small clique in one city which controls everything so it is by me, for me, about me, mm -hmm. huh? which we felt was the way it has happened in the past. So, and uh, in that sense, the whole idea is to democratize the G20, to make it much more participative, to give uh, different, you know, different cities, different states, uh, uh, different professions and uh, generations a sense of participation and ownership. So, one part of and this is not restricted to the G20. It is, it is a larger mindset. I mean, it could be uh, in terms of uh, today, uh, how you uh, elect uh, or select your political leaders. It could be about how, uh, you know, uh, economic benefits and social benefits are given. Uh, it could be about uh, educational access, health access. I think the country in the last 10 years has become much more democratized. Mm -hmm. uh, that uh, it is not, it isn't in the capital, it isn't only in the metropolitan cities, it isn't only even in the big cities. You've taken it out. You've taken out anything good which has happened in this country has been taken out to the entirety of this country. Huh? So that is one reason. Mm -hmm. The other reason is what I told you, which is it's absolutely essential that today's India must have, must develop sharper global awareness. Global awareness because we, we do see, you know, when Prime Minister speaks about Amrit Kal, that we have this, this 25 years where enormous possibilities are there before us, but those possibilities are 